Okay, I'm going to talk about content security policy. It's a HTML response header that you set on your replies. It's re uh, it works in all of new browsers, and you have a lot of deprecated headers that you could have used. What is it used for? You can restrict your access by setting and permitting origins for each type of response. Uh, what does it look like? It looks like this. This is one long line. It's just wrapped. You set where your uh, your eye should be allowed to come from, and different kind of sources or image sources. It could look different ways to get enforcements and to get with and without reports, or to not get no uh, enforcement at all. It could look like this long. It it basically it has a source type and a origin. And if we go to this um, to the types, we'll see the source types can be default source, image source, script source, font source, style, frame, and media, and object, and connect. And there's a special one called sandbox. This is really a, a way to limit everything you do in a browser. So when, whenever you set this option, you can set it to an origin, being it from none, you do not accept anything, it can come from itself. Could come unsigned, unsafe inline, unsigned eval, which as the name, are unsafe. It could be HTTPS, uh, you enforcing that how it should come. With the sandbox option, you can set uh, all the ways it could act within that so you can wrap uh, any page in uh, as if it was in an iframe. If, if you set it up in Modulicious, you can like just create an app. You can set up a config file. I hope you can see it. This is just one line, long line with a setting that's joined together. Uh, in, in this case, I set up a script that says, if I get a content security policy back from a configuration, and we can look at the next page. It will take that, do some uh, space marking, and put it in as a HTML header in response. That's all. Then we set up if the uh, report, we actually just put it out in a log. We do a little bit of unsafe templating. We allow it in without uh, forcing HTML around it. So if you pass in a script, it will run in the browser. Let's see, we start up a, a browser here, type in, oh, we can see that, that it uh, has a header on, then we type in some JavaScript and see what happens. It should just echo it back, and it did. But what really happens oh, is that um, it locks it into the lock, and we can see what happens. Someone tried to run alert 2345. So what is this? Has there any side effects? Well, yeah. If you run modulicious not found pages, it will actually use inline styles and scripts and will be refused by a strict policy, which will look like this. If we go to a page that doesn't exist, we'll see a little bit missing. We, if we want to look to nice again, you can, of course, un uh, allow unsafe inline into your config. Of course, only do it in a uh, um, uh, local uh, development version of it, not in the production. And now the page looks just fine again. But what can you then? Well, you can actually run JavaScript as well. That's it. <laughs>